Emperor Peter of Russia. Yep, Emperor Peter. I present this branch of spruce. It is an evergreen, and I hope it will be a symbol of our feelings for each other. That we will be constant and caring all our lives. Women here cannot read. And they shall not. Women are for seeding, not reading. You are disgusting! Do not lie to me again! We do not have to breakfast together. I wish it to bring us closer. How is that working? Are you pregnant? No. Annoying? <laughs> Good shot, huh? If you had shown me an ounce of kindness, I was ready with a heart full of love. Don't look at me like that. You're a disappointment to me, too. I need you to help me escape this place. I would be signing my own death warrant. Carriage is all I need. Empress? Emperor? You probably don't remember this, but a week or two ago I shot your bear and punched you. Perhaps it has cast a pull between us. Your obvious unhappiness endangers you. In what way? He will kill you. I have brought you a gift. I promised you a lover. A lover? My spies tell me you have kept Leo as your lover. I did. You would like to be loved. I am loved. <laughs> Someone tried to kill you. Please live. Touche. Hey. <laughs> What do you think our children will be like? Small. Indeed. Thinking about your father. The end of your first war. And he's not here to see it. How do you know? From my husband. Last night, the Emperor talked in his sleep. And he cracked what seemed impossible. For the thing is, you must both leave here with a victory. So we shall both have one. Thank you. What for? I know I don't talk in my sleep. Have you ever noticed Catherine's eyes? Her hair? It is very gold, like the sun. And she thinks like me. So often today, she says it, and I am like, exactly. You love her. <laughs> Hilarious, Grigor. You are right. Of course. I have odd feelings. For you. For me? I may love you. I want to touch your hair and... Annoying. She's also pregnant. You think a child will stop me? Fucking bitch. I loved you. You love me. And you love Paul. You won't kill us. Why don't you fucking love me, by the way? I do, in a way. Abdicate. Abdicate? God. You look great. So how have you been? How have I been? Yes. At war with you, that's how I've been. You're so sweet sometimes, I could just kiss you on the nose. Ah! Oh, sorry, did that hurt? Yes. Let's face it, your heart wasn't in it anyway. We don't want to kill each other. Fervently disagree. Look alike. You all right? Yes. He will abdicate. But he wants one thing. Yes. 20 minutes a day with Paul and you? I just want to be with you and Paul. That's what you want? Yeah. <sighs> Palace house arrest. Agreed. I crown you Empress of Russia. We are not in love. You are my prisoner. Could you kill it? What? The crocodile? Yes. Hold my hand. I'm not scared. And I'm not holding your hand. You wish to dance? If it pleases you. We would need music. I have music in my hand. That does not help. You've also avoided me personally. I have not. 
thought that is so. You do not love me. You think you do, but you do not. I know my heart. I love you. Stop saying it. Yours is not a normal heart. You are not capable of love. Not real love. I don't love you. I will never love you in the way you hope. Have you come to take it off me? Not today. Hypothetical. You wake up and everything tastes burnt. It's a horror of an idea. <laughs> I knew you'd hate it. Which? I'm not perfect. Oh, I'd love to hear how you are not. You would? It may help me. I'd love to not love you some days. It is a burden, is it? Unrequited love is notoriously so. Sometimes I think you're the only person who really knows me. I do. And I can tell you sense all of me. It's your greatness, your strangeness, your fucked upness, your lies. My lies? You love me. Hypothetical. A woman who has loathed you, tried to kill you, overthrown you, and imprisoned you, walks into a room, and tells you she loves you, what do you do? Have fun running Russia. And Peter's my great love. This is why he fucked and killed your mother. You... Everything in me wants to fucking kill her. Not everything. It turns out the worst thing in life. You know you won't be able to kill me. You never can. I have to, though. Is to come up against your own limitations and... I don't want to kill him. I love him. Stumble. And then, in the fall, you crush the one person you wish to be your best for. See you in your apartments. <laughs> Apparently marriage has challenges. There was some bloodshed. We're trying to move forward. Close the book on the past. Wake up to a new day. Oh. I... This is why we're perfect together. I really wasn't myself. Or you, perhaps, never more you. We do not want to kill each other, that is clear, so I suppose it is a happily ever after kind of future. She fucking stabbed me five times. I think you two are doomed and will end in hardship, pain, and great loss. Maybe that is the way through for us. It's nothing but now. There was no past. There was no future. But right now, looking at you, touching your hand, I'm happy. Me too. The burden of Russia is yours. I never cared for it. How do I look? Stunning. Oh. This oh. is Rosemary. Mm. Look at Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> like an excitable little <laughs> moth to a handsome flame. You aim to rile me. You tried to kill me and I did nothing. When she fell, did my mother look happy? Mm, don't scratch the wound. Make me forget. You are my great love. And you mine? You're the Empress. It will be fine. Wait, no murder? How are we to settle grievances? When I killed you, or thought I had, it did not take my pain away. You loved me more than you hated me. Husband? Bitch! <laughs> 
You killed him. Gregor shot him. And you? You need to sleep. He's like you! Huzzah! <laughs> and you fucking love me, I will remind you. <laughs> Not today! <laughs> oh! Not fucking happening! Don't you fucking dare. The ordination is cancelled! What? If she does not want my son to be like me, and yet she loves me, that is a fucking head-splitting conundrum. I have no choice. You will break us. You are a wonder to me. <gasps> and you, me. I don't want to ruin the moment, but you can't take this off him. Just think about it. Mm, all right. I will. I've thought of it. I will allow the stag ritual. Huzzah! But not the ordination. You ask too much. Of me, of Paul. I ask you to choose us. What does it matter? You gave it away! Fuck off! <sighs> Is he ordained? Then it's a fucking surf. <laughs> You want to be head of the army? I will lead us to great victories. Be known as a great military fucking leader. Better than fucking father. I can't. Of course you can. I know what we should do. We should just take the fucking army, march on Sweden, take it back. It's just fucking Hugo in his ear and Peter the Great in his head. I'll go talk to her. Why? She's just going to tell you to stop. People misunderstand our love. I don't want to invade Sweden. We don't do many things together. Let's go. <laughs> My father appears to me. As in you actually see him? I do. He wants more of me. Fuck him! Oh, I want more of me. Me as I am is not enough. That is mad. You are the most enough I have ever met. We have rewritten each other in the best, most infuriating way. That is enough. Close to enough. Peter. You think I am destroying us, and I know I am saving us. No! I love you. My whole fucking heart and all my body and whatever ineffable spirit animates me. Everything. Actually, I... Remember after the torture dinner and he told you he loved you for the first time and he came to my room shaking because he'd never felt anything like it. He said you had obliterated the old world he knew and replaced it with this shimmering one. He had a story of some destiny he had to have, but it wasn't. It was a delusional story that led him to his death. You're not him. Destiny didn't do it. I did it. I miss my husband. <laughs>